What is happening everybody, my name's Seven and welcome to a Ghost Recon Wildlands video. Now today we're covering something to do with Fallen Ghost DLC. Something just before the DLC releases, I would like you guys to go and visit these different locations that have been showcased within the screenshots. Now I go to each of the locations, I give you a bit of a scout, a look around, get your ideas starting to flow so that you guys can start firing ideas just before the release of the DLC. And of course, if you even want to get the DLC, you can come to these locations and say, yo, I've been here, and maybe even take your own version of the screenshots that we have already seen so let's get straight into the locations i hope you enjoy the video if you do please smash a like now we're in this next location which is in Okoru, which is technically also still very much close to the uh, the water area in Aguare Verde. So if you come down to this longitude and latitude, uh, minus 15.7177 and minus 62.6517 approximately, you come to this area of large open water. And as shown before in the picture, if we just hop in this helicopter over here, you'll be able to see this is where in Fallen Ghosts we do an amphibious assault on this floating I don't know what you would call it. It's like a floating house, isn't it? It's just a part of the water. So if you come over here, you've got this little cove. You've got the uh, section over there with the helicopter. You've got the tower over there as well. And you've probably been here for a mission. Now, in that, you can see where we're getting shot from beneath us, where the enemies are. This is actually the location that you see where we are attacking from. So if we can survive this, I'll do the exact same action as what we were just before the sun comes down. So we'll land our helicopter. I'm expecting to get shot up quite a lot here, but this is the exact location where we come in and you can see it in the picture, this angle here. So you've got the tower in the background and you were part of this dangerous little cove. We are getting absolutely destroyed here as well. So we're gonna make sure that we climb up and this is where we would be attacking the enemies in Fallen Ghosts. But if you see on the map, when you zoom out, you can see it's in the, 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 the very root, like very out there in the middle of nowhere kind of section of the map so Fallen Ghost is definitely going to be more orientated up this top right hand corner. Now as depicted before in the image where you see the attack on the bridge where we're basically stood with a crossbow and then we have ourselves attacking what looks like a brand new kind of convoy, a very heavily armoured convoy. Uh, basically this is the location right here, this is the bridge where it takes place. So I'll land up here and I'll just show you the location on the map so you can obviously come here and visit yourself uh, but this is the exact location that you see where there's the attack taking place we're aiming up here with our weapons and we're blowing up a convoy now this location is actually just between Esperanto Santo and Villa Verde and it's just this bridge here that crosses between both the borders uh, at this location so it is obviously looking like Fallen Ghost is going to be heavily orientated around this top section on the right hand side of the map which is the perfect area in my opinion however I'm gutted that it isn't an actual original map but for sure it is definitely the best part of the map for this DLC now for this next one you want to make sure that you head over to this location if you've been here before and you recognize this rock then all you have to do is make sure that you land in this field over here that I have marked I'll show you the exact dead on location that I've pinpointed so we're in Espirito Santo and basically you want to spawn on this location here which is Espirito Santo Charlie and then what you'll see is the obviously the large rock in the distance but you want to fly to this location just here just outside of uh, Balia Floresta and you'll find this field of these coordinates now just here as you can see you've got the little shed that you've seen in the picture I showed you just before so if we come down and we land in this this should give us the right perspective to look back on that rock so we'll just fly down here and land in these uh, fields I love the landscape in this game honestly it's one of the most beautiful things about it it's so good so this is the location you can see obviously the tin hut and stuff in the background the maddest place for us to land and fallen ghosts in the helicopter but uh, this is definitely also probably one of the best it's gonna definitely have to put our skills to the test we're gonna have to be very tactical I very much imagine squad mates thank god they spawn inside my heli because I am so always very bloody impatient <laughs> there you go they just appeared da -da, like magic right, let's move on to the next one all right guys so now this is the next location that is shown in images of the Fallen Ghost DLC and I can show you exactly where to come on the map now when you do come here expect lots of enemies if you've never been here before I'd be very very surprised however when you arrive here there's snipers and soldiers and heavy soldiers absolutely everywhere they did as you can see destroy my helicopter when I landed so I can imagine this area in the DLC being very very hectic indeed obviously you can 
can go up inside the ship, etc. But the, the picture that you've seen just before showcases us basically sitting here and looking up at the, the, the ship and there's three guys coming past from the new type of enemy that we'll be facing in the DLC. Now this location is in uh, Kamins, which is just over here on the right hand side, which is quite like, you know, far, quite far down, but it's still on the right hand side of the map and it's all swampland mostly around here. Now it's already marked on here and it's the, the last Aguilia wreck. I think that's uh, Anguilia, that's how you say it. Um, see if we can go away from it and come back to it. And it says remains of a decade old wrecked ship. So this is actually gonna be one of the places that they hold down and one of the places we're gonna have to take out enemies in. It's gonna be a lot of fun to basically take over this place, I can guarantee you. So this is the next one that we will have to something to do. I don't know whether it'll be part of a mission or whether it'll just be a stronghold. I'm guessing it'll be a mission within Fallen Ghost DLC. And now for the next one. This one is also in an area that is packed with enemies and as you've seen in the picture prior to this, you basically get to go to a base. Now this is obviously going to be a very intense one as well. Now this is another one that's in a Koru. Now all you have to do is come to the right hand side where this junction is here and you come to the main base. It's the Koru base. The largest core factory ever built now when you land here it is as expected packed with enemies now this was found by my friend Soli, so thank you ever so much to her for finding that for me this was really difficult and i couldn't find which refinery it was but as you can see you've got the tent up there as well and you've got the you know you've got the rest of the refinery stuff now you want to do is you come to this sam site a uh, sam turret and that's just right here and as you can see you've got all the the piping along the floor where you see the guy taking the kill with the knife and then you've also got your teammates that are crouched down behind this barrier just here so when you crouch here you get to see obviously you've got the the pipe etc the building the refinery and the shelter and this is exactly where the knifing takes place against the enemy just over here but like i say there's loads of enemies at the moment around here so just having to make sure that we uh, survive we've already had to kill convoys and convoys to even show you so like i say once again come to okoro here and then just come to the right side and come to the okoro base just right here and then obviously you'll have to face off all the enemies just to even look at the location so congratulations you'll probably die <laughs> <laughs> Unless you go in with your squad mates, then you might be okay. Now, the beautiful location that we've just all looked at on screen is very close to this area that we've all been here before. If you haven't been here, I'd be surprised. A lot of my friends have been here and just murdered the cows, <laughs> which is just crazy. But yes, we've, we've been here before. I think the majority of players have. I think at the start of the game, this is one of the areas you do bump into. However, massive mention to uh, Alpha Squad Gaming. I would never have found this exact beach unless I actually looked at his content and, and learned where it was because I was searching so many beaches and I just genuinely could not find it but this is the the best one that I've found as of the moment we've got to make sure that we land down nicely so we can uh, try and get ourselves uh, well I want to rid the helicopter I wanted to try and go into the water if we can we've got enemies on us now so there we go that should do it oh there it is let's go in it's going uh, oh it's going okay it's in the water it was never there oh what the hell what happened oh my god my squad mates just hit a canister and blew up the other helicopter I was going to use that to get out of here. <laughs> yeah. Oh my lord. Well, in the picture that I showed you, you can see the fence that's on the left, and obviously the palm trees and the houses. It's kind of gone to crap now because of this helicopter being destroyed. But this is the area that we would not naturally be sitting in in that screenshot. And of course, this is actually the, the beach itself. It's also really close to that mound. So if you come to Aguare Verde and you come to the the, the player out of Seriana, I think that's what you call it, the edge of this beach right here on this corner. And you've got a couple of be uh, boats and stuff if you want to utilize them to escape. I'm probably going to have to do that now that I've got no bloody helicopter. Absolutely good. <laughs> but I would love to have like a little hut like this on my own. It would look absolutely amazing. But let's shift on and let's move to the next location that we've been shown in the Fallen Ghost DLC screenshots. Now, guys, this is the final location that you see in the screenshots. And as you can see, there is a large wall that runs around this base, just like most bases. However, there is a bunch of like container units and there's platforms where people could stand on, just like this as well, where you would obviously have a sniper, say, for example, standing up here on this part of the wall here. It looks so bloody easy because all you got to do is go up the scaffold and walk in and you're basically in the place. But in here, there's also a ton of cages. As you can see also, at the well, there's like a there's nice design landscapes etc but this is basically a place where they do a manhunt so this is a, an area where they put prisoners in uh, i've never seen this before however which is the 
this is what the hell that is so cool it's like an elephant cut out of a bush that's wicked uh, but basically you come in here you've obviously got some intel and stuff you can tag but this area is actually a part of the caimans so if you come down here and you come to this section just where we are stood right now on the the bank side when you hi highlight over this the los hombros jarreras i think that's how you say it it's a cartel manhunt so obviously this so far is looking really really interesting in the sense of like in narco roads the area that they selected wasn't as large or it didn't seem to be as large as what they've selected so far within this and obviously you can see all the containers etc and if i if i just come down here to this section here this is where you see from the screenshot uh the area where they're having a big fight and stuff and there's obviously loads of dead people etc around here so it's uh, it's a pretty grim place to be and i don't really want to be trapped here <laughs> but uh like i said before when we look at the map basically the areas that we've been to we've been to the top section of akoru and then down here on the right hand side we've been down right down into the caymans we've been uh, very close between espirito santo and villa verde and we're also been in some areas in aguada verde so uh so far it's looking like we're utilizing up to five areas but probably not going to be utilizing larger parts of certain areas say for example certain parts of aguada verde probably won't be a spirit of santo and the same for a coru um but it looks like there is a pick of five different areas which tend to be around here from all the screenshots that we have seen there isn't anything else unless you guys have actually seen some other screenshots to say maybe there's another area that might be involved in the, the dlc but if you know anything more than me please do let me know in the comment section below it would be a great help indeed Thank you ever so much for tuning in and thank you for the support 7 squad. I will see you in the comments. My name's 7 also known as Martin Lee Wood. Like and comment on all that you love. Take care of yourselves. Peace.